Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to walk through the Assemble tab inside of the Overset menu in Pointwise. So I'm going to go to the Grid Overset menu, and again, we're going to focus on the Assemble tab. And the first thing you'll notice is a table called Assembler Statistics. And here you can see the names of each of the blocks in the Overset Grid Assembly. You'll notice that they're highlighting in the scene as I kind of hover over them here, and I can click on them to select them or click in the display window to select them as well. I can also see the number of fringe points, hole points, and orphan points for each block in the Overset Grid Assembly. And additionally, I can see the status of each block indicating whether or not each has been run through the assembler since last being changed, which is really nice. If I go ahead and select one of these, I can then choose whether or not I want to show the fringe, hole, or orphan points persistently. So let's go ahead and toggle on the fringe points for the wing collar. You'll notice that they are rendered in the display window. And if I click OK, they are still being rendered. So they are rendered persistently so that you could go and make changes to the grid in the vicinity of these points if you needed to fix any issues. Let's go back to the Overset menu. One thing I did want to point out is the number that is being rendered bold in the table, are those are the points that are currently being rendered in the scene. So right now, by looking at this table, we can see that the fringe points for the wing collar grid are being rendered. So I can go ahead and select that and uncheck fringe points to turn off the rendering of those points. The next frame is the adaptation sources frame. And in this frame, the fringe and orphan point checkboxes have been selected by default. When the assembler is run, a point cloud source will be created for whichever option you have selected so that you could do some adaptation work if you wanted to. The next frame is the run remote assembler frame. Here you can specify the host theme and port as well as test the connection for a remote assembly. And then the advanced frame where you can show the assembly log and report. You can print those to the messages window. You could release your assembly data and even retain previous files for a subsequent run. And then lastly is the run button where you can actually execute the Oversight Grid assembly. Currently, Pointwise interfaces with Pegasus 5 and Sugar++, whichever one you have installed and configured. And that is the Assemble tab inside of the Overset menu in Pointwise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.